Bruh, too many games. I don't got that many thumbs. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, boy. Let's get it over a lot of likes. I don't know how many. A lot. A lot's a big number. Bro, <laughs> I cannot underscore how many games are coming out in September. If you are a fan of gaming, September is one of the best months this year. Something for everybody, bro. Everybody gets love. All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over the biggest games coming out for the month of September that I feel every gamer should take a look at there's there's so many smaller like indie games or whatnot i'm going to be touching on some indie games but not all but all of the heavy hitters are in this video so sit back relax and let's talk about some games and i'm cheating a little <laughs> two games are coming right at the end of august but i have to mention them bro because they're both so lit the first one is Astral Chain. Now, I know I'm going to get some flack for this. The game hasn't pulled me in. Too many lines and circles. That's what I'm saying. Look at the circles. Everywhere. Lines and circles. But, <laughs> not saying this isn't a... Just because the game doesn't appeal to me, not saying that it's a bad game. The reviews are in. The game is killing it on Metacritic. And so Astral Chain drops on the 30th and it's a Switch exclusive. Give this game a second look. Make a decision for yourself. Astral Chains. But that's not it. At the end of the month, also on the 30th, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. I think this was at, yeah, this was at Xbox's E3. And this is an Xbox exclusive. Two exclusives at the end of the month. Now, <laughs> I typically probably wouldn't buy this game. But this is free through Game Pass. So I'll download it. It ain't going to cost me another red cent. And I might try it out. You know what? I might stream this game with all the lights off. And me being scared in the dark and just playing it. So Blair Witch comes out on the 30th. The next game. I had to include this one, dudes. And do that. River City Girls comes out September 5th. Bro, River City Ransom on the NES. One of my favorite NES games. In my opinion, probably t definitely in the top 10. Arguably top 5. And this game play, pays homage to River City Ransom. Actually, River City, River City Ransom <coughs> is one of the free NES games if you have a Nintendo's online services. But this game drops on September 5th. It is a multi-platform game coming out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Drops September 5th. If you're a fan of old school classic beat-em-ups, there you go, bro. I just gave you a game recommendation. All right, next game. Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Iceborne, the Iceborne huge expansion pack for Monster Hunter World will arrive. Man, this is one of the games I regret not finishing, bro. Man, Monster Hunter World, I didn't I never still beat this game. But the DLC Iceborne drops on September 6th. But you know what? 
I'm not going to have time to play this game anyway because of the next game I'm about to mention. All right. Also coming out on September 6th, NBA 2K20. <coughs> of all the games I mentioned in this video, this is going to be the game that's going to consume most of my September. I, I am a big 2K fan, especially on my park. We're going to be on a serious my park grind. My build is going to be a surprise. I'm going to take the game 100% more serious this year. Last year, my park, my games I primarily just played with the sponsors, had fun. Didn't really care too much about my record win or loss. I'm still, of course, I'm going to be gaming with the homies, the sponsors. But... <coughs> We are going to be grinding and, and taking my record serious this year. So, 2K20 drops September 6th. Oh, we're going to break the bank with DLC, with, uh, with VC this year. I'm part of the microtransaction problem. I am. I know it. And ain't nothing you can do about it. All right. 2K comes out September 6th on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Switch. I have to tell you guys. This is the first year since the Switch has been out. I'm not getting it on the Switch this year. This year, I'm going to be on the X. We're going to be on the Xbox One for 2K20. It's going to be lit, boy. All right. Next game. Now, this game actually has two release dates. Gears 5. Right now on um, Twitch. I'm trying to beat Gears 4 before Gears 5 comes out. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, man. Obi-Wan plays on Twitch. <coughs> That's where I do my gaming streams. But, Gears 5. The official launch date is the 10th. But, I believe if you pre-order the game and if you have Game Pass, you get to play the game. Or, if you pre-ordered it, or, I know definitely if you have Game Pass... You get to play the game early. I keep telling you guys, Game Pass is lit, man. And so it comes out on early September 6th. The same day as 2K. Oh, no. I'm going to be playing 2K. A little bit of Gears Online multiplayer. Then back to 2K. <laughs> Let's go. And so Gears 5, September 6th and 10th. The next game. So happy together, you and me, and you and me. This is Borderlands, Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 drops September 13th. This is another game that looks dope. I'm not sure if I'm picking it up yet. I'm telling you, man, it's so many games to play, bro. How am I going to play all these games? This is just a matter of time. Borderlands 3 comes out September 30, 13th. Never played a Borderlands game before, but this game looks dope, man. I might finally get my feet wet with three. Borderlands 3 drops September 13th on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and this is significant, Stadia. That's right. Google Stadia. This is the first time in my list of releases that a Stadia game is mentioned. So Borderlands 3 will be on Google Stadia. We got Stadia, right? Right? Crickets? No? Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm probably going to be getting xCloud. xCloud comes out in October. And the reason why I'm getting xCloud is I won't have to start over with my gaming collection. All my Xbox games, I can just play them on xCloud. It's a no-brainer. Stadia, I'll be starting from scratch. Why would I do that? All right, so Borderlands 3, September 13th. Let's keep it going, bro. September 13th is pretty crazy. Also on September 13th, Damon X Machina. They've been mixed um, opinions uh, from dudes who played the demo. The art style looks cool. The game looks cool. But <coughs> the and the developers have taken a lot of feedback um, to make improvements on the game. So I do believe the final game will be improved upon not i believe they already said what they're improving on uh, from the demo daemon x machina comes out on the 13th oh but we're not done with the 13th yet 
we not done with the 13th yet. Hey, we're all my old school. Sega Saturn. Sega Dreamcast. Daytona USA dudes. NASCAR Heat 4. NASCAR Heat 4 drops on the 13th. A NASCAR racing game, bro. On the 13th. So if you if you're a fan of NASCAR racing games, there you go, bro. We're not done with the 13th yet. So many games in one day, bro. Still on September 13th. NHL 20. Last time I played a hockey game was on my Sega Genesis. NHL, uh, EA Sports. So NHL um, 20 comes out September 13th. <coughs> I have EA Access, so I think I could like try out the game for like 10 hours for free. So NHL, hockey, I've never been a big hockey fan. But the hockey games do look cool, though. NHL 20 comes out on the 13th as well. All right. Finally, we're escaping the 13th, bro. So many games on the 13th. The next game, though. I'm telling you, man, so many games. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Drops on the Nintendo Switch. PlayStation 4 and PC on the 20th. Another dope, dope, dope RPG that I never played. It's just a matter of time, man. So many games, so little time. And so, um, Nino Kuni, September third, um, September 20th. Bro. The creme de la creme. Next NBA 2K <coughs> of September. Legend of Zelda with Link's Awakening. I already have the game pre-ordered, pre-loaded on the Switch, locked and loaded. We ready to go. Link's Awakening on the 20th. This is one of the few Zelda games I've never played. So very, very, very hyped to play uh, this game dropping on the 20th. All right. Next game, Contra Roll Corps. I sort of included this just for fun, just because I, I grew up on Contra, but this game looks like garbage. <laughs> September 24th, Contra Roll Corps drops on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Switch. If it's $9.99, I'll pick it up, bro. I'll pick it up, bro. Maybe. $7.99. All right, next game. Code Vein drops on the 27th. 27th is another heavy hitter, bro. Code Vein drops on the 27th. Comes out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. Looks cool. Reminds me of Nair Automata, that game. And um, I get Astral Chain vibes when I see this too. The Japanese anime art style is strong with this one, Bandai Namco. That's why. All right. <coughs> also on the 27th, Dragon Quest 11s drops on the Nintendo Switch. I have this game on my PlayStation 4. Should I double dip? Mm, don't know yet. I might hop back on uh, my PlayStation 4 just to beat it with you guys. So, but Dragon Quest 11 comes out on the 27th for the Nintendo Switch and rounding out the month. But there's one more trailer I want to talk about after this last game. But rounding out this month, FIFA 20. Originally, I wasn't going to get this. Until that Volta trailer dropped. That Volta trailer looks low-key lit. I might be picking this up. More than likely, I'm going to pick it up. Just to play the new Volta mode. 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, street soccer. I'm getting Super Mario um, Strikers vibes, bro. Even though, of course, there's not going to be like any power moves or anything. But this game just... That mode, the mode, Volta mode looks pretty, pretty dope. So... FIFA comes out on the 27th, bro. 
So many games coming out in September. If you're a fan of gaming, it should have put a smile on your face. And But we're not done, bro. Obi-Wan, the Super Master Jedi, the Super Saiyan Jedi, bruh, a new Star Wars trailer, poof, dropped, Star Wars 9, Episode 9, The Rise of the Skywalker, Rise of Skywalker, whatever it's going to be called, first the trailer starts off by paying homage to the Star Wars series, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, movie series of all time. Lando! And then <coughs> we get into the new episodes 1, 2, and 3. I like them, bro. I like that trilogy. A lot of dudes didn't. 4, 5, 6. Mace Windu. And then 7, 8, and 9, bro. Seven, eight, and nine. I'm really liking. Seven was real lit. Seven is probably one of the best Star Wars movies in the whole entire series, in my opinion. Seven is up there, bro. Eight turned it down a little. It was, I wanted to see Luke and Kylo fight it out. Um, at the end, but instead it was just a hologram of Luke. I wish they would have fought it out at the end. That would have put it over the top. Nine. Bro. It's some serious stuff going on in nine. Check this out, bro. Right, this is a replay of eight. Bro. <coughs> well, this is still a replay. This Christmas is coming out in December. Look at this. Princess Leia! The story... Bro, think about this. It's coming to an end. This is the fi f final Star Wars in the, tr in the whole series. I don't know what they're going to do after this, but episode 9 is it. Just look at this. Look at all of these battles. I forget the exact name. Battleships, whatever. These aren't Star Destroyers. Look at all of these. Star Destroyer was a huge thing. <coughs> Look at all of these battle starships, bro. It's about to be a major war. I don't think we've ever seen this many lined up like this. So it's about to be real lit. Look, yeah, that shot showed it better. Bro. This shot right there. Look at that, bro. It's about to go down. Man, this video is longer than I thought it would be. We're going to keep going. Almost to the end. Is that a black girl? Bro! C-3PO has turned evil. CP-3O, he's turned evil. Look at the red eyes. Bro is going down. Look how she threw it like a boomerang. Wait for the end. Wait for it. Bro, check out this battle. In the ocean. On a ship. This is lit. The atmosphere, bro. That's going to be lit. And then. Bro, this threw me for a loop, bro. I had to rewatch this part like three or four times. Bro. Not Ray. Not Ray. Check out, hey, check out her light, how her lightsaber flips. Watch this. <laughs> that was fire. But I'm just hoping like that's a dream she's having, or just a brief moment. She got possessed for a second. She cannot turn to the dark side. Not Ray. Too much of a fan. Too much of a fan to lose Ray to the dark side. But, Star Wars Episode 9 is going to be fire. Alright, dudes. Sort of two videos in one. Games of September. Star Wars trailer. That's how we roll, bro. What do you think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that 
subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out. Link's Awakening, that fire.